So today I was reading the Daily Beast, and I came over this article about Senator Lindsey Graham. And evidently, Senator Lindsey Graham was in South Carolina, and he went to the Dorchester, it looks like, country club where they had a GOP meet and greet. Sort of a fundraiser is kind of what it looked like. And he was up there trying to convince people, or at least merely suggest, that you ought to get the vaccine. And the reaction was, um, I don't know, I find this funny in sort of a morbid way. But here it is, folks. Have a listen to this. I had to do a little bit of digging, but I found it. If you haven't had the vaccine, you ought to think about getting it because if you're my age, I didn't tell you to get it. You ought to think about it. I didn't tell you to get it. You ought to think about it. Did you hear the crowd in there? And as the camera kind of sweeps around, it's a lot of middle-aged cotton tops, you know, sort of like myself, I guess. And it's kind of funny, you know, they're uh, just not going to get the dang vaccine. Did you hear what he just said? He said 92% of the people that have COVID who were in the hospitals in South Carolina, 92% of them are unvaccinated. And what do they do? They scream false. You know, not true, not true. You know, folks, what I say to that, hey, get up off your ass and go check it out yourself. It's not good enough to sit there and just say something is false. You know what? Get off your fanny, go down to the hospital, talk to people, talk to the administrator, and they'll tell you the truth. I mean, that's all you got to do. Sitting there and just saying, it ain't true. Prove it. No, get off your fanny and prove it. So I'm with you. I'm with you on let's don't mandate it. I'm with you that it's probably unconstitutional. But I am not going to legitimize what I think is the truth. The truth is that unvaccinated, unvaccinated. I'm going to lose my job in 60 days. You got to stop it now. From who? From who? From the U.S. government, the Navy. Yeah. So I'm with you. So I just, I just don't know. Are you? At- Yeah, I'm going to lose my job in 60 days. I'm going to lose my job in 60 days. You know what? Get the vaccine. Get the vaccine. It's not a big deal. And it's really, what makes it a mandate? I mean, you can get the COVID test, right? So is it really a mandate? Just either get the COVID test or get the vaccine. That simple. Well, here's the one thing. Okay, I'm a veteran too. How many of you have taken um, measles shots? Not the same. Not the same. Well, it is the same damn thing, for God's sakes. It's a vaccine. In the military, in the military, they can say you got to get vaccinated. I think that's a dumb idea. You know what? We should be driving people away from serving. Like if you're a healthcare worker, and you don't want to get vaccinated? Why do you want to get people to quit being nurses? I trust you to make a decision good for you. So are you against the vaccine? No, I'm against the mandate. That's what I'm How do we stop it? Uh, you're going to have to get somebody. You're going to have to get the vaccine. Is control of one of the houses. See, if we had the house. I got 60 days and I lose my job. Yeah, I don't know what's going to happen. Yeah, we'll try our best. We're going to move to the next question, folks. Yeah, the next question, please. We're moving on from that. You know, it's it's sad, you know, that this is such a big deal. It's sad that it's such a big deal, folks. It shouldn't be this big of a deal. And we've heard about people that have natural immunity. They've had COVID, and so they think they've got all of the antibodies built up. But they've proven that it's not as good as just getting the shot. So I I don't know why it's such a big deal. Um, I talk to people all the time about it, and we, I just don't know what to say about it. But, you know, if I could channel Lindsey Graham for a second, if I could just channel Lindsey Graham and say, Lindsey, what is the deal with this, with this shot, you know, and not, and people not getting the shot, he would say something like this. He would say, Frank, I, I know it. You effing know it. We all effing know it. You ought to get the shot. 
I, I know it. I know it. But the sad reality is i got to raise money from these people. i got to raise money. And that's what it comes down to, folks. I mean, he's trying to push a little bit, but he, he just kind of... It's like a paper tiger, you know, when they say when they say that even the 92% of the people that are in the hospitals that have COVID right now, 92% of those people don't have the shot. That's false. That's a lie. I mean, he doesn't, does not even push back on that. He ought to say, get up and go and check it out. So I just don't uh, get it. This is, this is part of the problem. So you've got this group of people, and now he's going to go back, and now poor Lindsay's going to come up with all sorts of tweets and all sorts of stuff like, you know, this uh, this vaccine may not be uh, cut out to to be what we think it is. You know, it's it's it just crumbles. The reality is, they just need to get the shot. On and on we go, folks. Thanks for tuning in. Till next time. <laughs>